Hey guys, Travis from Hammond Engineering. Just thought I'd give you a quick rundown on one of my machines. I had to do a job for a customer the other day that is basically a milling job, but because of the size and shape of the part and the fact that it had processes that needed to be done on four of the six sides, it was actually much better for me to do it out of round bar in a lathe. Uh, it's not exactly a lathe, it's actually a multi-function machine, uh, meaning that it's sort of halfway between a lathe and a mill. Probably more lathe than mill, but it can do a lot of milling stuff and it allows me to make parts out of round bar and then just part them off, having already had access to five of the six sides. So if the sixth side just needs to be flat, then it's parted off and it's done. This is the machine here. It's a Mazak Integrex 35. Uh, it's a fairly old machine uh, from the late 90s. Um, why it's called a multi-function machine is because it's both a lathe and a mill. So it has turning tools, which do your regular lathe stuff. But the head here can be in a horizontal configuration like it is now, or it can turn into vertical. So that means that every lathe tool is actually two different lathe tools. Uh, it also means that you can access parts with milling tools from the front or from the side. I'll just change to a milling tool. So it's got 40 tools in the back there on a chain. Tool changer comes in and swaps them out. See there, we've got a 10mm end mill. So it can come in and do milling on the face of a part. Uh, it also has more axes than most lathes. So this has got a Y axis as well. So what that means is we've got X in this direction, Z in that direction, and then we've got Y in that direction, which allows it to move around the face of the part. Uh, so that allows us to do offset holes that aren't on centre line, which you otherwise can't do in a live tool lathe. And being able to rotate the tool to 90 degrees, again, makes it basically two separate tools compared to a normal live tool lathe. Um, and it also just allows access to more areas than what you otherwise would have. Uh, the main drawbacks of this machine is clearance. That head is quite large, so there's always, you've got to consider clearance onto jaws, clearance onto the wall, clearance onto the tailstock if you've got it further up. Uh, there's always things to consider in that, on that side of things. Some of the programming I do on this is directly on the control. So for basic turning jobs, I'll just do it on the control. Um, because it's it's easy with Mazatrol. For more complicated stuff, I've got the laptop next to it, which I can drip feed programs that I've made on Fusion. In the back here is the tool changer. See all of those tools, 40 tools, which is quite handy. Sometimes it would be nice to have more so I didn't have to swap things in and out. Um, but finding holders for a machine of this age can be a little bit difficult. Um, and also something that makes it a little bit harder is it uses Cat40 tooling for the milling tooling, whereas the rest of my mills use BT40. So that just means I need basically a whole other set of tools. It's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. And we laugh, we carry on.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully that was a bit informative. Um, sorry if the filming wasn't that great, but I've decided to just try and make videos and not care about production value. Cool. So like, subscribe, notification bell, etc, etc, etc. Cool, bye.